Hey, welcome to Excel Video 401. This is another slide from the business intelligence presentation I did for MGMA in San Diego in October. You'll see a daily email that comes to a practice that says, hey, here's everybody that signed out of a surgical location yesterday. And what it does is summarize and says, hey, here is surgical openings that may be helpful for you. You find this one or this one. Go use your open surgery slots and don't let them go to waste. If you're looking for a way to get daily critical information emailed to your practice, let's talk. Back over to tables. I've tweaked my table a bit today. Said, you know, I've got some daily summaries here of charges, collections, AR that I might use in some kind of dashboard or report that I want to send out. And I've created a table like we talked about last time from the design menu. I've picked uh, this table style, this green medium one. And that works for me. I want to show you, you know, if I'm not quite happy with this, I want to tweak it a bit. There are a couple things we can do. From the table styles from this drop down here, what you can do is you can create a brand new table style. When you do a new table style, this is from scratch. I don't have anything going on here, so I'd need to format the whole table or a second stripe or whatever. And there's a bunch of things you can do. If we chose the whole table, the formatting menu is one you're familiar with in Excel. You can change the border, or the fill, you can change some pattern colors and things like that. But what I'm going to do instead of going from scratch is, you know, I pretty well like the table style I have. I just want to tweak it a bit. So I'm going to right click that style and duplicate it. And instead of calling it table style medium 7-2 or whatever, I'm going to call it week summary or something like that. Maybe I send this out once a week or something like that. So now I've got a table style called week summary. What I'm going to do is rather than play with the row stripes or the column stripes or whatever, you know what I'm interested in is just this first row stripe. That's what I want to do. And I'm going to change the stripe size from 1 to 2. See the preview change, and then I want my second row from 1 to 2. And see now how what I have here, once I apply, I'm like, well, how come it doesn't change? Well, because you didn't apply it. And they, this is the style. If I change to my custom style, there we go. Now, then let me make sure I show you from... The, even though I created the new style, I didn't select it. There's my custom style. If I hover over it, there's my week summary. If I change that, now notice how this first two rows are shaded, and then we skip two, and then we shade two and skip two, shade two and skip two. You could make that three or four. You could do a bunch of things. Notice my data here. See how we go Monday through Friday. Notice my clinic is, it must be open a little bit on Saturday because I'm getting some charges and some collections on Saturday, but I'm clearly closed Sunday. I got activity through the week and then I'm open part of Saturday or, you know, on one facility, limited physicians, whatever, and closed on Sunday. I want to highlight that in my data. And my friend John O'Connor up in Missoula, Montana taught me this trick and I think it's great. I'm going to go back over here to my table style and I'm going to modify it. I right click and modify. And then Let's come back to the first row stripe. I'm going to change the size of the first stripe to 5 and the size of the second row stripe, I'm going to leave it 2. The reason I'm going to do that is I want my first row to start with 5 shaded stripes in a row and then go to 2 clear ones and let me see, or transparent ones. Maybe that's another way to say it. If I click OK, now that my style is still selected, look what happens. See how my weekdays are shaded and then my weekends are not and my weekdays are shaded my weekends are not how long it take you to do that in Excel if you had to shade every other one especially if you're going for the whole year and you're shading okay is it a Monday or not and I gotta go shade and not shade and whatever notice how easy it is to create this style and then I can modify it I can make it the default if I created more tables in here like for other locations or whatever I can build this style once and just roll with five shaded rows for the weeks for the weekdays and two non-shaded rows for the weekends. Clever trick from my friend John in Missoula, Montana. Thanks to him and thanks to you for watching.